What's up, everybody? I got a non-nerdy review today, but I've been so excited for this movie and its drive-away dolls. I'm going to keep it spoiler-free in this one, so you're good to watch it. Even if you haven't seen the movie, maybe this will make you decide to go see it in theaters, so let's just get into it. As always, I'll get what I didn't like out of the way first, and in this case, it's just one singular con for the movie. That being, I thought it was too short. Now, this wasn't like a pacing issue. I thought the movie's fast-paced nature of you know, jumping from event to event, place to place, is part of what made it so fun, but at the same time, it felt like there was a little more story in this one that was uh, left off the table in favor of the 84-minute runtime. Like, even just adding six minutes to put it at a flat hour and a half feels like it would have fleshed out this story just a bit more. But that's all I've got to complain about for this one because I absolutely loved this movie, so let's get into the pros. First one is, the comedy. Now, this is obviously just how it landed with me and my taste in comedy, but I was dying laughing far more than I wasn't in this one, and it feels like maybe, just maybe, Hollywood's opening their minds up to dirty comedies like this once again, and good ones at that. Then, there's the cast. They're all great, but it's uh, obviously Geraldine Biswinathan and Margaret Qualley who steal the show as the leads in this movie. Out of the smaller roles, you have two hilarious but brief performances from Pedro Pascal and Matt Damon, as well as a good, more serious performance, not super serious, but he's not like joking around, uh, from Coleman Domingo, who's just been killing it. Finally, the big reveal in this movie of what's uh, in that silver briefcase the girls end up with is one of the wildest and honestly boldest moves I can remember a movie making in quite some time. I loved it. I said no spoilers, so I won't say what it is, but Jesus Christ, it's hilarious. And so that's going to do it for my review of Driveway Dolls. I know it's not nerdy, and it was a brief one, but I've been looking forward to it so much, and it didn't disappoint, so I just had to spread the word. Let me know what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it, down in the comments below, and make sure you have a great day.